Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, you ever been in a situation um, and you're like unsure about something and it, um, do you like roll the dice or um, like uh, play the lottery card or something like that? Or do you go, you know, let me check with God first. Um, we're going to see in what we read today. That's what Jacob did. He was like, he was unsure about what he should do and he's like, you know what, before we do anything, let me check with God first, okay? And that's something we should be doing in our lives. When we get into a questionable situation, like, does God really want us to do that? We should go, you know what, let me check with God first, okay? So, let's read today. Um, we're taking uh, this from Genesis 46. We're actually ch starting chapter 46 today. And this is verses 1 through 7. And we're at the point now in the story where Joseph is, is sent uh, for Jacob and has said, hey, come to Egypt, all right, and, um, and bring everybody here. And in fact, leave all your stuff at, back at home because uh, you won't need it. You're going to have the best of everything here. Um, so I'm sure they brought their, their goats and, and their livestock and stuff. But he says, oh, you don't have to furnish their house. I'll, I'll take care of that for you. So, and the thing is here, I want you to see before we, we start reading here, the thing as to why this is so questionable is because his forefathers had gone to Egypt and that was always disastrous when they went there. So, and he had heard about this, you know, you know, uh, from Abraham and, and uh, Isaac and so forth, um, how disastrous the going to Egypt was, okay? And that was like forbidden. God didn't want them to go there. But here now, it seems like God is calling him to go to Egypt. And so he's like, uh, really, does he want me to go? And so he's unsure, okay, about this. If God really wants him to go to Egypt, because God sure did forget, uh, forbid it um, to his forefathers. So let's read here today, chapter 46 of Genesis, verses 1 through 7. So Israel set out with all he had, all that was his, and when he reached Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. Okay, so he's going, he starts out traveling, um, but he gets to Beersheba, and this is places, a place he had uh, sacrificed before. Okay, and he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. And Jacob was the guy that offered sacrifices. Uh, he wanted to have communion with God. He wanted to have interaction with God. And so he starts off this journey by doing that. He, he's going to have interaction with God. He's not going to go off, you know, uh, by himself on this. He wants to be sure God is with him in this. Verse 2, And God spoke to Israel in a vision at night and said, Jacob, Jacob, here I am, he replied. I am God, the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a great nation there. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. And Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. So here you can see that um, God has assured him in, in, through this dream here that don't be afraid. That you're supposed to go to Egypt. That's no problem. Now, when I read the, this verse, verse 4, it looks confusing here. It says, I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. Now we know good and well, Jacob did not come back alive, okay? His bones came back, and, and but you gotta read the rest of the verse. And Joseph's own hand will close your eyes, okay? So God is saying that don't be afraid to go to Egypt. Yeah, you're gonna die. Joseph is gonna close your eyes. He's gonna be there when you die, really. But you're gonna come back again. Your bones are gonna come back. It's not, it, it, that's what he's saying here. It's not that you are gonna, you know, make a two-week uh, vacation trip and come back. And I think initially that's what he was thinking, like, hey, I'll go and do a visit, you know, there. But no, he didn't realize the famine was going to be another five years, okay? So it, he would be there uh, much longer. So he said, I will, um, verse 4, let me reread that. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again, and Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Verse 5, Then Jacob left Beersheba, and Israel's sons took their father Jacob and their children and their wives in the carts that Pharaoh had sent to transport him. So Jacob and all his offspring went to Egypt, taking with them their livestock and their possessions they had acquired in Canaan. Jacob 
brought with him to Egypt and his sons and his grandsons and his daughters and his granddaughters, all his offspring. Okay, so he brought everything uh, with him. One thing I want to point out here is the reason God had them come to Egypt was, well, first of all, they were having a problem intermarrying with the Canaanites. And God had, had forbid them intermarrying with the Canaanites uh, because the Canaanites were wicked people, okay? And so, but here when he takes them to Egypt, it's going to be a different story. They're actually going to be isolated in the land of Egypt because the Egyptians... Um, despised the Hebrews, okay? So they, they are, are not going to intermarry um, there with them. Uh, and so um, the, intermar the intermarriage won't happen there in Egypt like it was going to happen in Canaan. And so that's a way God keeps them, them pure, okay, uh, during this time. And so he's bringing them here to Egypt, and then they're going to grow. And by the time they actually leave, it's like you know, a huge amount of people. Uh, we're going to see next time um, as we go through this, it's 70 people that go there initially. And then when they leave in Exodus, it's way more than that. All right. So uh, the thing is here uh, that I wanted you to point out here today is this. Jacob says, I'm just checking with God first. Uh, that wasn't his actual words, but that's what he's insinuating. Like uh, my son says I need to come to Egypt, but let me check with God first. And that's what he does. And again, then God assures him that, yeah, you need to go to Egypt. Okay. So in your life, as you're going through life, you have questionable things like, should I do this? Should I not do this? It's easy. Just spend time with God, you know, alone with God. Ask him, you know, for assurance. Do I do this or do I not do this? Okay. Ask God. That should be the first step, not the last step, but the first step. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Genesis. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.